All right, well then, um, if there are no other announcements, I think there's something I've missed here, but I, I can't uh, I can't think of it now. So let us then describe to the Lord the honor due his name, bring offerings and come to his courts with praise and thanks.
love to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Purge me of my sins, and I shall be pure. Wash me, and I shall be clean indeed. Amen. Our service of Holy Eucharist will continue with Eucharistic Prayer D, which is especially appropriate uh, for a festal mass such as this one. It's our most ancient Eucharistic prayer and goes all the way back to the first centuries of the church. So we share it with our brothers and sisters in the Roman Catholic Communion and also in the Orthodox Church. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. to rejoice in the splendor of your radiance. <coughs> Countless throngs of angels stand before you to serve you night and day. And beholding the glory of your presence, they offer you unceasing praise, joining with them and giving voice to every creature under heaven. We claim you and glorify your name as we sing. Incarnate, 
by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, who lived as one of us, yet without sin. To the, pro to the poor, he <coughs> proclaimed the good news of salvation. To prisoners, freedom. To the sorrowful, joy. To fulfill your purpose, he you gave himself up to death, and rising from the grave, destroyed death, and made whole creation new. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose for <coughs> us, he sent the Holy Spirit, his own first gift to those who believe, <coughs> to complete his work in the world and to bring to fulfillment the sanctification for all. When the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, his heavenly Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. At supper with them, he took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, <coughs> he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. Father, we now celebrate this memorial of our redemption, recalling Jesus' death and his descent among the dead, proclaiming his resurrection and ascension to your right hand, awaiting his coming in glory, and offering to you from the gifts you have given us this bread and this cup. We praise you and we bless you. We praise you, we bless you, we give thanks to you, and we pray to you, Lord our God. Lord, we pray that in your goodness, mercy, we, Lord, we pray that in your goodness and mercy, your Holy Spirit may descend upon us, and upon these gifts, sanctifying them and showing them to be holy gifts for your holy people the bread, life, and the cup of salvation, the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant, grant that all who share in this bread and cup may become one body and one spirit, a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your name. Remember, Lord, your one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, redeemed by the blood of your Christ. Reveal its unity, guard its faith, and preserve it in peace. Remember all who minister in your church. Remember all your people and all who seek the truth. Remember all who have died in the peace of Christ and those whose faith is known to you alone. Bring them into the place of eternal joy and light. And grant that we may find our inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, with patriarchs, prophets, and apostles and martyrs, and with John, our patron saint, and all the saints who have found favor with you in ages past. We praise you in union with them and we give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. By him, with him, and in him, 
In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, to deliver us from evil. Thy kingdom, power and glory, for our and ever. Amen. Hallelujah! Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the peace. Hallelujah! Thank you. 